Okay, now we're going to go the other direction. We're going to start with the expanded version of the log, and we want to go back the other way and write it as a single logarithm. So they want a single logarithm, and they want positive exponents. So the problems that we did previously, the very last step that we would do is we would drop these powers down in front. Well, if I'm going the other direction, putting it back into a single log, that means that I'm going to start with that step and go the other direction, which means that the last step I did before was bringing the power down. Well, now that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to bring the power up. So that rule says that or rule number five for property of logs says that we can take that two. We can do, you can do both ways of it. Bring it down, bring it up. It doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do first is these two powers, both of them, I'm going to bring them up to start with first. So I'm going to get log 6x to the 1 half and then plus log 6x minus 2, that's going to be squared. So I'm bringing these powers up, that's the very first step that I'm going to do is to do that. Now that I've brought the powers up, now I need to combine these together into a single log. I'm going to use rule number 6 for this. There are two of these with a plus sign in between. Plus sign means it'll turn into multiplication. So this is going to turn into log 6. I have x to the 1 half and then I'm multiplying that by x minus 2 squared. This would be a single log. You could leave your answer like that, or you, if you wanted to, you could also change that square, the 1 half back into a square root, and you could write your answer like this. So either one of these would be considered correct. It's a single logarithm. The powers on here, they're both positive. Now we're ready to try the second one. So the second one, again, there's a 2 that's here, and that 2 we're going to move up on top. Now because it says write with positive exponents, even though that's a negative 2 there, I don't want to take negative 2 and bring all that up on top. What I'm going to do is leave the negative in front of it and just move the 2 up there only. So this would be ln x squared minus 1 minus, I'm, I'm not going to take the, uh, the negative with, I'm just going to leave the negative here, and that would be a 2 that would be brought up on top there. Now that I have this, I'm ready now to put it together into a single log. So notice again I have LNs here, which means that I'll have a single LN as my answer. LN would be a log base E, so I'm just using that one. We have the top one, x squared minus 1. On the bottom I have x plus 1 squared. So again, whenever you, that's using rule number 7. Whenever you have something like this, the first one always goes on top, the second one will go on the bottom. Now, a lot of times, there may be problems where you can simplify more. So this isn't quite simplified far enough yet. What I need to do is do some factoring. So if it looks like you can do factoring, you do want to go ahead and do that because sometimes you may be able to make the answer even simpler. This is our difference of squares, x plus 1, x minus 1. We have here and then down below, x plus 1 squared. We can remove one of these x plus 1s. This is to the first power. We have two of them on the bottom. So we are able to make this a little bit simpler. We will, uh, it'll turn into x minus 1 over x plus 1. One of the x plus 1's cancel out with the one on top, and then you're just left with this. So you can leave it like that, or if you'd like to put the uh, parentheses around it, that's okay as well. But this would end up being your uh, final answer. You're not able to, to cancel out the x's or the 1's there. This would be as far as you can go.